best I could ever dream of. If inspired action is what brings us our, the results that we want, the life that we want, we would do well to know what makes it possible for us to step into that inspired action. This morning I was observing in myself a sort of resistance or stuckness. I was being passive as if I'm waiting for external things to line up and waiting for the feelings, the right feelings to show up so that I can start moving in inspired action. And I decided to pay attention to what's going on instead of just jumping into some action on impulse. I decided to tune in to what's really going on. What's this? Oh, there's a fear there. Okay, there's a fear. What's that fear about? It's the fear of missing out, fear of making the wrong choice. So I'm not taking action. I'm pa being passive because I'm afraid that I'll make the wrong choice, which means that I'll miss out on something. Now, with that awareness, if I choose instead, step into the creative orientation, which means the opposite of the problem-solving orientation, so that my actions are no longer fear-based, but love-based, not based on fear of missing out on something, but based on the love of actually experiencing what I have chosen to experience. And with that, I realize how where passivity is linked to depression, inspired action is linked to joy and satisfaction and fulfillment. And I think inspired action is based on the premise that we can choose our experience. We can choose our experience and reach for it and act in that intention. So the bottom line for me this morning is that I chose to go for a walk instead of hanging on to the other things that I wanted to be doing. I practiced letting go of those other things and to enjoy a moment of emptiness, you might say, emptiness of the things that I compulsively do, emptiness of the things that I think I need to do in order to solve my problems. Evolution and creation can be a mysterious thing. And if we approach it with the mind of the ego or the finite self, then we might miss out on the greatest truths around whatever we want to create. And we're limited to the mind of the ego, the finite mind. Whereas if we let go, if we look beyond the bounds of the finite mind and open, allow space for the infinite mind and be okay with not knowing for the moment, being okay with feeling ignorant and empty because in that emptiness, we are preparing ourselves for universal truth. Thank you for listening. And I wish you some space during your day where you could tap into the infinite mind.